Hi, I'm Lisa Perry from Colonial Life, and it's time for your district's annual open enrollment for the Flexible Spending Accounts, or FSA, and Colonial Life Voluntary Benefits. Both plans are available to all employees, regardless of their participation in any other benefit with the district. It's also important for me to remind all current FSA participants that you must meet with a benefit counselor every year to re-enroll this benefit to continue for the following plan year. During this year's open enrollment, the benefit counselors from Colonial Life will be offering the following plans to help all district employees and their families save money and protect themselves. The first is flexible spending accounts administered by FlexFax. The second is voluntary disability, life insurance, and supplemental health plans with Colonial Life. This presentation will focus on the flexible spending accounts only. Please click on the Colonial Life Voluntary Benefits presentation link for detailed information on the plans offered by Colonial I would first like to explain what an FSA account is. No matter how great of a benefits plan you have, there is always out-of-pocket expenses that are not covered, such as deductibles and co-payments. An FSA account allows you to set aside pre-tax dollars to pay for those expenses tax-free. Expenses for things like health care, you have deductibles and co-pays for things like prescriptions and doctor's visits. Dental expenses. The best of all dental plans leaves most people with a large out-of-pocket expenses for things like orthodontia, crowns, bridges, and many major dental procedures. Eye doctor appointments, prescriptions, co-payments, um, contacts, all of those expenses add up and can be very expensive. And also daycare expenses. The bottom line is, is that while insurance is great to cover expenses you don't expect, an FSA is a great way to save 20 to 40 percent on expenses you know you're going to have. What's also nice is if you want to give yourself a raise and know you're going to have expenses in the upcoming plan year, an FSA account is the best way to increase your net take-home pay and put more money in your pocket. I'm now going to share with you details of your district's FSA plan. Your plan year begins September 1st every year and ends on August 31st the following year. Your payroll deductions are based on the number of payrolls you have per plan year. It's also important if you're considering participating in the plan that you do so during open enrollment since no late entrants are permitted per IRS guidelines. The maximum contributions for the health care and daycare account are listed on this slide. It's important that you know that health care funds are available immediately upon the effective date. However, daycare can only be reimbursed up to the amount you have already contributed to the account. I also want to review, review some of the following guidelines and eligibility. All benefit eligible staff and their dependents are eligible to participate in the plan regardless of their participation in any other benefits with the district. It's important that you re-enroll in the account every year because your elections do not carry over to the next plan year, even if you want to contribute exactly the same amount. Once you participate in the plan, your election cannot be changed or revoked during the plan year without a qualifying event such as marriage, divorce, or birth of a child. FSA eligible expenses are not de decided by your district, but rather by the IRS, and I will explain a little bit later on in this presentation exactly how you can locate a list of all the eligible expenses. Probably the most important feature is the deadline to submit claims. At the end of your plan year, any unused health care flexible spending balance up to a $500 maximum will automatically be rolled over to the September plan year the following year, even if you choose not to re-sign. Any balance over $500, however, will be forfeited if not used by the August 31st deadline. Before enrolling in a flexible spending, it's really important you understand what's covered and what's not. And on the slide, there's a list of the most common eligible expenses. However, prior to enrolling, you want to go online to flexfax.com. On Flexfax's website, you're going to see on the bottom corner an FSA eligible expense table. Simply click on this link and it will be brought to EBIA's healthcare expense table site. You're simply going to enter in the access code FLEX2011 and you'll be directed to a complete list of all eligible expenses and the guidelines. There will be qualified expenses that will be covered without any additional information. There's also potentially qualifying expenses where they may require additional documentation such as a prescription from your doctor for over-the-counter medications.
it's important that you read all eligibility requirements prior to enrolling in the flexible spending since once you elect this plan you are not able to change your election until the following year. Since most people have a difficult time understanding exactly how participating in an FSA can save them money, since they're required to reimburse through payroll deduction the full amount they elected, I'm going to share with you an example of an employee that elected $1,500 a year. Now this can cover their dental, orthodontia, prescription drugs, and many other items. That contribution of $1,500, if paid on a pre-tax basis, if they were at a 30% tax bracket, would actually save $450 a year. Why would you pay taxes on expenses that are eligible to be paid tax-free? The bottom line is, the more you spend, the more you save. And since this is not insurance, you use this account for expenses you 100% know you're going to have. Now that you understand what an FSA account is, which expenses are covered, and how you can save money, I'm going to share with you exactly how you use this account. First, you add up all the expenses you and your family will incur in the upcoming plan year and meet with a benefit counselor from Colonial Life to enroll in the plan. All participants will receive a FlexFax debit card to pay for all eligible expenses instantly. There's no paperwork or waiting to be reimbursed. It is as simple as using a debit card. The biggest difference is that when you enroll in an FSA account, in addition to the tremendous tax savings, it's also like getting a free loan, since with the Healthcare Flexible Spending Account, the entire amount you elect for the plan year is available on the first day the plan begins. So why enroll? If you have expenses for healthcare and daycare, why wouldn't you want to save money? Now that you understand what an FSA account is, which expenses are covered and which are not, how you can save money, I'm now going to share with you exactly how you use this account. First, you add up all the expenses you and your family will incur in the upcoming plan year and you meet with a Colonial Life Benefit Counselor to enroll during open enrollment. All participants will receive a FlexFax debit card to pay for all eligible expenses instantly. No paperwork or waiting to be reimbursed is required. You may also order additional cards for your spouse and dependents for no additional cost. It is as simple as using a debit card. The biggest difference is that when you enroll in the FSA account, in addition to the tax savings, it's also like getting a free loan, since with the health care reimbursement account, the entire amount you elect for the plan year is available on the first day of the plan year. This, in addition to the benefit, will also help you pay for big expenses. In the example I used as a $1,500 annual election, it's a lot of money to come up for $1,500 for one big expense. It's a lot easier to pay through 20 payroll deductions, $75 a paycheck. The nice thing about it is if you have health care and daycare expenses, why wouldn't you want to save money? I wanted to thank you for taking time to learn more about the district's flexible spending account. And hopefully you're excited to learn more about how this plan can help you save money on expenses for the upcoming plan year. Enrollment is simple and there's no paperwork to complete. The benefit counselors from Colonial Life have scheduled on-site visits at every school in the district. Please meet with them for more information on the FSA and Colonial Life Disability, Life Insurance, and Supplemental Health Plans. The great news is that you have the option to stop by during one of your free periods or breaks, or the best way to guarantee that a benefit counselor will be available when you need to see them is to book an appointment using the link provided to you. We thank you so much for taking the time again to learn more about the plans, and we look forward to seeing you during your district's open enrollment.